Hello, welcome to class. My name is Benin and I'm a British English teacher. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about one tiny grammatical feature that can help you sound a little bit more natural um, when you're responding to questions in English. Um, this is what we call short answers in English. Don't worry if you don't know what it is, I will explain throughout the video. First of all, have you ever noticed that native speakers actually don't tend to respond to questions with just yes or no? This sounds a bit odd, right? For example, if you asked me, Benin, do you like your job? And I said, yes. Sounds a bit odd, right? Maybe even a little rude. Um, or if you said, for example, uh, Benin, are you good at maths? I just said, yes. Again, it sounds maybe just a little bit too short, a little bit rude. So what would sound better here then? Um, this is where the short answers come in. What would sound better is if when you asked me, Benin, do you like your job? I said, yes, I do. Or if when you asked me, Benin, are you good at maths? I said, yes, I am. So this little I do, I am, is our example of a short answer. How do we make these short answers then? Well, we make them by taking the auxiliary verb from the question and repeating it in our answer. So remind you, auxiliary verbs are helping verbs in English and they include things like to be, to have, to do, uh, will, and all of the modal verbs. So things like can, could, should, um, must, etc. So we will take that auxiliary verb and repeat it in our answers. Let me give you some examples now with the different verbs. We've already had to be, for example, are you good at maths? Yes, I am. We identify to be and we put it in our answer or we could say, no, I'm not. We already had also the example with do. Do you like your job? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. We take the do and we repeat it. Um, it's the same with the auxiliary verb have, for example, we could have something like, have you eaten yet? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. We just repeat it. It would be the same with something like will, for example, will you go tomorrow? Yeah, I will. Or no, I won't, for example. And of course, the same with the modal verbs, for example, can you swim? No, I can't. Or yes, I can. Okay, so we're taking those auxiliary verbs and reusing them. One little point to be careful of here is that we need to be sensitive to tense. For example, if we have to be in the past, um, was it a good party? We need to say, yes, it was, or no, it wasn't, right? So we change the tense. Um, or for example, did you have a good time with do? We would say, yeah, I did, or uh, no, I didn't, for example, okay? So let's have some practice now at responding with these short answers. I'm going to read a few questions for you. I'd like you to pause the video after I read and think about what your short answer would be. I will then give you the answers, okay? So here are our questions. Are you a fan of football? Are you a fan of football? And we could say, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. So we're getting that. B from the question. The second one is, was it nice weather yesterday where you live? Was it nice weather yesterday where you live? And we could say, yes, it was, or no, it wasn't. Again, we're taking B, but changing the tense. The next one is, do you like learning English? Do you like learning English? And we could say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Okay, we're taking do this time. The next one is, did you have a good weekend last weekend? Did you have a good weekend last weekend? And we could say, yeah, I did. Or no, I didn't. So we're taking do and changing the tense. And the last one is, will you take some time off this year? Will you take some time off this year? And we could say, yeah, I will. Or no, I won't. So we're taking will. So that's our practice. Um, to recap then, we should kind of avoid saying just yes or no in English. It's much better to have this short answer repeating the auxiliary verb 
if you want to make your answer even better, you can add just a couple of extra sentences and maybe even a question back to the other person. For example, Benin, do you like your job? I could say, yeah, I do. Little short answer. I love teaching um, and it's a really good fit for me. For example, what about you? So I just add some extra there and throw a question back to the other person. Or Benin, um, are you good at maths? I could say, no, I'm not. Sadly, short answer, uh, I'm really awful at maths. It's just not good for my <laughs> type of brain, I think. What about you? Again, we've just had the short answer, added a little bit and thrown it back to the other person. I hope this helps you in conversation in feeling a little bit more natural when you're responding to questions. Um, let me know how you're getting on and thanks for watching. See you very soon. Bye.